Good evening, folks. This is Richard Jean here. This evening, I'm preparing some baits to go fishing, of course. That's what we do. And I wanted to share a tip with y'all. Um, for those of y'all who likes underspin type baits, um, this is a very productive bait right here for me. When fish are anywhere from two to four feet of water where I'm searching, wanting to cover a lot of water, just like you would with a spinner bait fishing for bass, um, I can cover a tremendous amount of water and do it quick and find those shallow water crappie. But anyhow, here's a tip uh, about these underspins. And by the way, this is not an advertisement. This, uh, I buy these at Walmart, and they're the type of underspin that to me is second to none because the spinner, let's take one of these out right here. This is a fin spin jig head made by Leland Lures, trout magnet. The, the blade on this bait right here, for some reason, above all others I've ever used, it don't matter how slow or fast you retrieve this bait, that blade will move. I mean, you can just crawl it and it will still spin. And that's very important to me. Um, I'm not knocking any other baits, but the, if the blade's not spinning, serving a purpose, uh, for what the bait's designed to do, Richard don't want to use it. But anyhow, let me show you a little trick for shallow water fishing. Okay, this bait right here is a uh, one sixteenth of an ounce. Okay, I tend to find that I have to reel this bait right here a little too quick to maximize my fish catch. In other words, I want to crawl this bait just as slow as I possibly can because remember, for the most part, crappie are up feeders. Uh, they, I mean, and that's the reason. So what I do is I'll take me some side cutters or, or needle nose pliers and I'll cut about half of the, the lead off of the bait. Okay, I'll remove it. It'll look like this when I get done. Now I've turned this 1 16th of an ounce into a 1 32nd. Now they might make a 1 32nd ounce, but I don't, I, all I can find is 1 16th of an ounce here um, around locally where I live. So that's the reason I've been doing this for years. Then I'll take some dental floss. And I'll wrap it around this shank of the hook two or three times. Go up and down the shank of the hook about two or three times. Twice is normally enough. Now this is just only if you're wanting to fish real, real shallow and not having to reel the bait real quick. Okay. trying to keep everything in frame but I'll <laughs> anyway I'll tie me two knots like that you don't have to be neat about this this is only to serve a purpose of bonding whatever jig you want on here now this is a brush pile jig I've used these on this channel before brush they're called brush, brush blade and this is the Valentine color. Now, if you're in dingy water, this is a good color set up right here. And just rig the bait on. Okay. Let me go ahead and push it up to see if it's straight. It's got to be straight. Okay, that's pretty straight. Then I'll just take some super glue. And I like the gel type. And I'll just apply a little here and there. And then push that bait back up on, on there. Now I'm going to tell you, that right there is a killer in shallow water. Now if, you, if you're going to be fishing real clear water, 
Um, I would use like maybe a white head with a natural color jig, whatever jig type you like. I can just crawl that bait, you know, just as slow as I want to, and that blade will still spin. You know, and I like Blake Moore Roadrunners too, um, but um, well, this is my preference right here. Hey, thank y'all for watching. And remember, go fishing when you can because it's good for you.